Welcome to Coffee Break with Hayley. I am a professional dancer and a rolfer. As a rolfer, I help you with your posture and coordination, find more ease, come through things that have affected your life, through your body, that you might be finding hard to come through on your own, and also to rehabilitate injury, to find greater power or grace in your life, or as performers, or martial artists, or golfers, chefs. So, um, we're going to do a tiny thing on the floor today. Um, if you are not comfortable being on your hands and knees on the floor, you can also do this sitting. Uh, the easiest way is to be on a chair and be near a wall. And so you can sit on your chair and have your hands on the wall and your feet planted on the ground. So either, either one is fine. So those of us on our chairs are going to be upright with our hands on the wall. And those of us on the floor are going to be on hands and knees. Yeah, a bit like cat stuff, uh, posture if, you, if you've done any yoga. Yeah. Okay, so just take a moment. Maybe you need to stop the video a tiny bit to get your chair and organise yourself on the wall and so that you can see me and all those things. So just do that if you need to. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, be on the floor, but I'll talk through how you might be being if you're sitting. So you find your sit bones if you're on a chair or your knees if you're on the ground. Yeah, and your hands on the ground or on the wall if you're on if you're sitting. Yeah. Yeah, and your hands are big, open, juicy gecko hands. Great. Yeah. And so the fingers are spread and you have a, you can feel the texture of what you're touching, the wall or the ground. Yeah. Good, the elbows are soft. The knees are letting the weight of the legs and the pelvis through to the ground. Good, okay. So as I said, this is a bit like cat, uh, if you've done the posture of cat in yoga. So we let our elbows be soft and we allow the organy space of you to really settle down towards the ground, like falling leaves can fall towards the ground. The heart, the intestines, yeah, the liver, if you can imagine where those are. Another nice image is to imagine that, if you imagine the front of the spine, so we have these big vertebrae, and at the front of them, which is inside us, if you imagine, you know, when you throw a pancake and you get it stuck, on the ceiling. Imagine that those pancakes that have been stuck can just doof, doof, like fall doof, 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 from the front of the spine. So just sitting with the hands at the wall or as I am in, in cat, see if you can just get that feeling of the pancake falling. And so as our pancakes fall, we also imagine we have a tail, which is coming from our sacrum, the very bottom of our spine. And at the moment it's going up, maybe it's a peacock tail or a fox tail, whichever you would love to have. Yeah, so it's going up and we have antlers or blades of grass or elf ears or whatever would be lovely. Yeah, and they're like finding the space above us. Yeah, so the pancakes drop from our spine, our hands are juicy and open and our tail and our antlers find the space above. Good, okay. And then we're pressing from our big hands into the ground like we can press into sand. And we imagine that we can, the birds have strings on our vertebrae and they're gonna pick up, pick up the vertebrae. So it's not an effort in us, but they're picking up the vertebrae, the birds, the strings, soaring them into the sky. Yeah, and then the, the tail drops, but it's soft and heavy between our legs, and the antlers bow. Yeah, and as we're here, we can more and more imagine the birds picking up the, the vertebrae with the, with the strings. And eventually it's like we're soaring above our hands, like we are the eagle soaring above our hands. So take those two images and see if they're useful, yeah. 
And we go between those two places. So the pancakes coming from the spine, the soft elbows, the tail lifting towards the sky, the antlers finally the sky. Yeah, and then the birds taking our vertebrae with strings. Yeah, the tail bowing between our legs, the antlers bowing. And then sometimes we're soaring over our hands like an eagle. Yeah. And this is the same if you're like this at the wall. So you're, as you're pressing with the hands and the birds are putting, are putting the vertebrae back. Yeah, like they're still flying, the birds, yeah. So the soft texture of the wall as the vertebrae yeah, being like a kite is flying them behind you. Yeah. And then here, it's really more like um, the belly is soft and heavy. And there still can be this like falling off of something from the front of the spine. Ugh, and it's more like a like, Whoa. yeah, the antlers or the elf ears and the tail, if you're sitting like this, is still like, call it extension. Yeah. So you still imagine, you still imagine the ears and the, ta the tail going back and up and the, and the antlers. Great. We'll try together with some sound.
be. So you might have found some places in your spine where there was more pancakes to come off the front of it. That's nice to get to know, right, where we do more holding around the spine. This is nice in a lot of ways, but it's really um, nourishing for our nervous system to have a, what we call a closed chain. So our upper world is usually a more social space, right, where we meet the world rather than the ground with our feet. And to have our hands on the wall or on the ground and close that social chain is really nourishing for all the parts of us and our nervous system that, um, that are usually in that open chain and where we can feel shock or aggression or a need for control or these things. So to nourish this, the beautiful flexion and extension, which is this extension and flexion, which is the natural movement of the spine in this closed chain is really nice uh, at all times and especially when things are a bit uh, socially or yeah, in the space around us. Great. 